Raw materials for the lime production in our country, the dolomite, is transported by truck to the workplace in Ritipana. Dolomite is carried from Megahakula in Badulla district. The dolomite is broken down by hammer to a kill feed size of 50 to 80 mm in diameter. The lime industry done in Ridipano is not a legal activity because a legal lime industry must have following necessary permits, environmental safety assurance permits, trade license, local administrative permit, geological license, explosive permit and security permit. Broken pieces of limestone are put into the kiln. Depending on the capacity, the output of the kilns varies considerably. This is the kiln used in Sri Lankan lime industry. A kiln is about 12 to 15 feet in depth. This varies according to the area. First, firewood is laid into the kiln in its first layer. For the second layer, cracked limestone is laid. A kiln is a cylindrical inner wall which ranges in diameter from 1 to 1.5 meter. The kiln is constructed with normal cottage type clay engineering brick set in a lime clay mortar. The firing openings are at the bottom of the kiln. Likewise, about 10 layers of firewood and limestones are laid in the kiln, one after the other to fill the kiln. to fit the kiln. The bottom layer of the kiln consists of small and dry pieces of firewood. In recent years, lime producers have experienced very great difficulties in obtaining suitable firewood for burning their kilns. The state has imposed a series of rules and regulations on the transport of firewood due to rapid deforestation in all parts of the island. The main type of firewood used is the trunk of the coconut, mango and turpentine tree. Coconut palm leaves, husks and coconut shells are normally used to start the fire in the kiln. This is the side beam of the kiln when the kiln is filled alternatively with firewood and limestone.
The kiln is ignited and allowed to burn for approximately 48 hours and then cooled to recover the quicklime calcium oxide. Depending on the capacity, the output of the kilns varies considerably. Burnt and unburnt limestones are separated manually. Burnt lime is white in color. Unburnt lime is pale pink in color. When a small force is given by the sorandir to the burnt lime, it breaks easily, but the unburnt lime do not. The machine runs with current and diesel. This machine crushes the lime and powder it and releases to another tank with water. Later, the water layer is removed. Thus, the pure hydrated lime is produced. In this tank, the lime and water are mixed together with a bucket and transferred to another tank with a seed to filter the unwanted particles. From this tank, the lime goes to the third tank through pipe which contains water and the lime is allowed to sediment. This hydrated lime are packeted using a sealer for marketing purposes.